Hello, my name is Dr Fiona Kainde and I'm a CT1 trainee psychiatrist working in London. I want to talk today about ECT, which is electroconvulsive therapy. This is a therapy which is used to treat patients with a variety of different conditions. In the UK, we use ECT to treat patients with severe depression, severe mania, catatonia, and we also use it to save the lives of patients where they've not been eating or drinking. Um, for the last few days or weeks. ECT has been used a lot in the media um, and there's been a lot of scaremongering about this therapy but how it's used in current clinical practice is not the same way that it was used in the past. So in the past through lots of films and media an example that I could give you is in the series Mad Men there's a character whose wife needs ECT to treat her depression so what happens is that she goes to the doctor, she has this treatment done, and then she completely loses her memory and her sense of self. Uh, in the media, uh, ECT has been pro portrayed this way. So a lot of patients um, can often come to the clinic with these fears and concerns. But the way that ECT is used in modern day is not the same. ECT is administered in ECT clinics and it's NHS funded. Uh, patients will come in and have this procedure as a day procedure. They receive general anaesthetic and a muscle relaxant during the pre procedure. They're then given an electrical current and this current causes a seizure. The muscle relaxant given to the patient means that the seizure is well controlled and that there's no side effects from the seizure. So a normal seizure, a patient could bite their tongue, dislocate a shoulder um, and cause injury to themselves but this seizure is given in a controlled manner so that this does not occur. In addition, ECT is safe because the dose given to the patient is controlled and measured. So in the past, what happened was that patients were given very high doses and it wasn't tailored uh, to the clinical indication or the specific details of the patient. Currently, what we do is you start off on a low level and uh, work our way up in degrees of 5 or 10 percent until the correct dose is achieved which e with each patient. ECT is a fantastic way to treat mental illness. In these specific cases it can cause dramatic improvements in patient outcomes and the course of disease. Uh, there are patients who haven't responded well to either antidepressants or mood stabilizers and for this group of patients ECT has made miraculous changes in their life. There are also some patients who might have had one course of ECT earlier on in their lives and let's say 10 to 15 years later down the line, they relapse and they may need a further course of ECT and ECT is also licensed in this, in this setting. ECT is something that is currently given to adults um, in the UK. There are some very rare instances where it has been offered to children. This happens just a few times each year in very specialist centres. There are different ways in which ECT can be delivered. So a common way which is delivered in the UK is by using electrodes um, and placing them by temporarily. So that's one here and one here. But there's also another way that it can be given, which is unilateral. So either right hand side or left hand side. Um, and a benefit of giving unilateral over bitemporal is that there's a reduced incidence of side effects. So with bitemporal sometimes people experience uh, speech disturbance, uh, memory loss, uh, motor disturbance as well and with unilateral placement usually on the non-dominant side of the brain uh, these side effects are reduced. After each session of ECT the patient fills out a questionnaire rating their mood and their symptoms and they also give a description of any side effects that they might be experiencing. The doctor or the clinician can then modify the dose for the next session, uh, recommending either an increase or a reduction depending on the clinical situation. There's a strong evidence base for ECT and it can really make a, a powerful impact for patients. So just to round off, ECT is recommended for patients with severe depression, severe mania, catatonia or in life-threatening cases. ECT is completely regulated in the UK and there's strict guidance on how it should be given. There's been 
depictions of ECT in the media, uh, which show it to be a very scary, very painful procedure. And I want to dispel those myths and let people know that this is not cu currently how it's being delivered in the UK. Uh, I want patients to know that ECT is safe and effective and they shouldn't let the myths and the depiction in old films and media uh, dictate what care they receive in current times.